Hello, welcome to Cologne, Germany. This is the FIBA Eurobasket, and it's Group B, and it's the game everybody's been itching to see. Slovenia taking on Lithuania here in Group B on opening day. Wow! The Lithuania fans are here. Well, they're always at the games uh, when Lithuania are playing. They might just be the best fans in international basketball, the way they travel and support this team. And they have come out in big numbers today to watch Lithuania take on Slovenia. And uh, you can see that Bosnia-Herzegovina won the first game of the day, 95-85 over Hungary. And of course, tonight, host Germany will be taking on France. Uh, I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor. And this is Jason Kidd, Michael Finley, and Mark Cuban. Jason Kidd, uh, USA Basketball Olympic gold medal winner, of course, coach of the Dallas Mavericks, and of course the Dallas, Dallas Mavericks owner, uh, Mark Cuban, here uh, to watch their star player, Luka Doncic. Mike Taylor, this is a huge game, and really, uh, it's also a, a kind of a, a revenge match, a revenge game for Lithuania. This is something special. We've got some great talent out here on the floor, uh, but as you say, the Olympic qualifying tournament last summer in Kaunas, Slovenia took care of business and, and beat Lithuania on their home ground. Uh, so today could be some sort of payback. Let's see what happens. Slovenia's got to be the favorite coming in, but uh, we should see a great game ahead. Well, you see Domas Savonis coming out. Obviously, Jonas Valanciunas, uh, the captain of this team. There he is. Uh, it's a good Lithuania team in a good moment, and I think maybe a better moment than they were last year at the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament in Kaunas. Without a doubt, and I think their front court of Valanciunas and Sabonis, uh, you can put that up against any any country in the world. It's a great front line. They have they play with pride. Uh, great basketball country. Uh, so let's see what type of performance they can put out here today. Of course, that was the last, the uh, first time rather, since 1992, uh, since they gained independence of Lithuania. They didn't play at the Olympics, but it has done nothing to dampen the enthusiasm of the Lithuania fans. And of course, Kazis Maxvidis, the coach, who was not coaching last year. He's taken over during the qualifiers, the World Cup qualifiers, he's been terrific. For Slovenia, this guy wasn't there either last year, Goran Dragic, and he was the MVP of the last FIBA Eurobasket in 2017. Goran Dragic, uh, of course, had that great run uh, in the 2017 Eurobasket, comes out of retirement, uh, wants to be a part of things and, and again the dynamic backcourt of Doncic and Dragas together something special Slovenia what a great team what a great run they went on last year that's the man everybody has come to see I don't think there's any question about it Luka Doncic he knows this is going to be a knockdown drag out fight and it is going to be an incredible 40 minutes and you can see that coach Sekulic and this Slovenia coaching staff, they have got a big game ahead of them. But right now, we are going to pause for the playing of the national anthems.
spine stingling, spine tingling stuff here for these two teams that I think are in the running for that trophy right there, the Phoebe Eurobasket trophy. This is a uh, important game, by the way, between these two teams because this also is a group of death. I think everybody will agree you can't really afford to drop drop games because the the competition uh, to get those top four spots to move on into the next phase is going to be very tough. Great refereeing crew today. Manuel Mattoni from Italy in the middle. Martin Kozlowskis from Latvia on the left and Wojciech Liska from Poland on the right. And this is why you uh, play national team basketball. This is why you come to these games. I mean, it just doesn't get any better, Mike. There's nothing better. I think all eyes of basketball world will be on this matchup right here. Doma Sabonis, uh, Rokas Jokovitis, Jokovitis uh, Jonas Valanciunas, Midas Gregonis, and Arnas Bukavicius in the starting five. Zikowskis, Brazdekis, Ekodas, Kuzminskis, Jumaitis, Yedraitis, and Lekavicius are coming off the bench. And key player, Jonas Valanciunas. The man in the middle, play through the post, big, physical, tough to keep off the offensive glass. As you see, 11 double-doubles in the last 25 games in Eurobasket. Talk about an enforcer in the paint. Valanciunas will be a key. Tough matchup for Slovenia to stop down low. So Kajic Makvidis won the under-16, under-18, and under-20 Eurobaskets as the Lithuania coach. So it's kind of natural progression for him, isn't it, to, to move into that spot. Alexei Nikolic, Mike Kobe, Jakub Lazic, Vlatko Chanchar, Luka Doncic starting for Slovenia. And both uh, Dragic's, Goran and Zoran coming off the bench. Samar, Luka Rutnik, Clement Prepolic, uh, Edo Muric. It's a solid team, but you know, Luka Doncic, what can we say? Just uh, an amazing talent and personality. Without a doubt, but he makes his teammates better. And what has always impressed me about the way the Slovenia team plays is the role players play with so much self-confidence because they know Doncic is with them. He makes his teammates better. We'll see if he can have that same effect out here tonight against a really good Lithuanian team. And you know, Coach Sekulic, excited to have both Goran Dragic back and Luka Doncic in this team is clearly it's a, a team that goes for being a really good team to just an awesome team. Although we didn't see them play awesome basketball against Germany in their last European qualifier for the FIBA Basketball World Cup. I think they're going to have a you know chance to respond today and get their game right. They need to be at their best right now, uh, and I think they've got every opportunity to do that. Probably would have won more Eurobasket titles in between 1939 and 2003 if, of course, World War II hadn't come along and they had been a part of the Soviet Union. Uh, without, you know, needless to say, a lot of the great Lithuania players played for those Soviet teams. Yes, uh, back in the day, Arvita Sabonis and some of the legends part of the uh, Marcelonis. Soviet Union teams for sure. But you have to respect the basketball culture, the basketball country that Lithuania is. It's, it's something special. And these guys are going to play with great Lithuanian pride out here today. I think it really says something that you're the owner of your team, the Dallas Mavericks, Mark Cuban, your head coach, Jason Kidd, your vice president of uh, uh, player, um, what is ba it? Basketball operations. Basketball operations. Uh, Michael Finley shows up to come and watch you play, but that's the significance of Luka Doncic. Let's go! Hello, everybody. We're underway in Cologne, Germany. The FIBA Eurobasket battle between Lithuania and Slovenia. And Lithuania winning the opening tip in the green. Hitting the ball, missing with their first shot, Valanciunas. And Slovenia not able to save it in bounds. And again, you have to remember these two teams squared off 
in the all or nothing final of the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament last year in Kaunas and Lithuania in front of their home fans suffered a pretty decisive defeat to Slovenia and Luka Doncic. So they did not go to the Olympics. And Domas Sabonis early. Great finish in the paint. Sabonis, Valanciunas impacting the game at the rim on the first possession. So Doncic steps back, puts it up from three-point range. And he's off and running. Nothing brings out the best in Doncic's like competition. So much self-confidence, draws the switch and buries the three. Sabonis backing his way up, has it knocked away by Doncic. Crosses midcourt, zips the pass over to Chanchar, and he is blocked from behind by Bukavashic. Now Sabonis, and he loses it. Alexei Nikolic. Over to Chanchar, he can shoot it. Good! Lithuania's got to take care of the basketball to control the tempo of this game. If they let Slovenia get out in transition, those threes can be really dangerous. Gregonis answers. Blazic finds his way in. No white shirts for the rebound. Luka Vitus raising all kinds of eyebrows. Here's Valanciunas putting up his attempt from three. Doncic over to Blazic. Third three of the game for Slovenia. And it's like they never uh, let up, do they? Doncic makes the game so easy for his teammates right there. Blazic holds spacing, drills the corner three. Beautiful late delivery. Valanciunas turns and scores with a jump hook. Lithuania starting with their twin towers. Slovenia relies so heavily on this man. Here he is again. Number 77, Doncic has the ball taken away. And terrific defense by Matas Gregonis. Great defense from Lithuania there. I'm not sure why Doncic chose to drive it there. He had the mismatch advantage against Valanciunas like he had earlier in the game and buried the three. That time he drove. Good defense, forces the foul. Incredible atmosphere in Cologne. The majority of Lithuania crowd, no surprise. Half the country is probably here today. Sabonis going to work, and Toby bats the ball over, gets the rebound. Behind the back pass to Chanchar. Blazic, will it be a second three for him? Yes, it will! Well, they're doing something they didn't really do early against Germany, and that's make their three-pointers. Just feet set, stand still. Shooting practice jump shot there, great play. Oh, great reverse for Sabonis. You have to love how Sabonis has started the game attacking the rim. Here's the lob. He didn't get the dunk, but it still worked with Toby. Doncic reads the pick and roll cover so well. Toby and got in behind the defender, easy layup. Alexei Nikolic called for the foul, but before the shot for Slovenia, the game has an electric start. Valanciunas can't let Toby get behind him in that situation. He's got to drop with the, the roll man. And Doncic reads the mistake and just makes an easy pass for two points for Toby. And they're no doubt ready for that because you're going to see that play five to eight times a game. That, from that's the beauty of Doncic. He, the game is so simple with him, and he just reads it so well, his decision-making. 
Kavish is tough with the basketball, but forces up a shot. And Slovenia have possession. Kavish is not the most celebrated of Lithuania players, but has done a lot of the dirty work for this team over the last several years. There's Doncic for three. Not this time. Bonus able to pass it out to Bukavicius. He doesn't catch it. Bukavicius takes the ball. Bukavicius, good! And Lithuania can stroke it from deep as well. Goran Dragic has checked into the game now, number three, and he's got the ball. Toby. Chanchar. Toby again, good! And he looks... He looks over at Mark Cuban as if to say, call my name. Sign me up. <laughs> Big shot from Toby. Good offensive rebound. And the lob. Sabonis not able to get to it. And look at Doncic. Here comes the dragon. Dragon spins. And short. And the hand off the big JV! Beautiful, beautiful play. Again, you love to see the post players cooperate like that. Great drop off from Sabonis and great finish from Valanciunas. So the foul has been called. Look at this. And Sabonis just feeds it to the tower of power, Jonas Valanciunas. With authority in the paint right there, fantastic finish. Look at that crowd, Mike. That is incredible. Beautiful, beautiful. It, it never gets old. And ball hit out of bounds. It'll stay at this end. Slovenia likes to run that little backdoor play from the sideline, try to catch the defender out of position. They recover just in time to knock the ball away as Blazic cut back door. Here's Dragic, gets in, a hook shot, good! Boy, that was a sweet finish. He's so tough to stop when he goes left. Left-hand player, obviously, but so good going left to finish. The Kavishis. Kuzminskis, Mendogas Kuzminskis, he gets in. And doesn't get it to drop. Dragic quickly up the floor. Oh, great defense by Brazdekis. And Blazic fouls Gregonis. Boy, terrific D. Outstanding defense. Put that in a defensive teaching video for all the young players out there. <laughs> Fantastic work. Doran Dragic checks in for Jakob Blazic. So what we've seen from Slovenia early on is a lot of switching defensively. The Cavishes with the runner. Well, he's been lively. Last day gets guarded. Doncic. Doncic gets deep. Passes it back out. Now he goes right at him again, and they call the foul. For a guard, he's so big and physical. Fans don't like the call, but I think it's a good call. He definitely got him with the bodies. He got into the paint. Of course, Brazdakis is Lithuanian, but grew up in Canada. Number nine. 
Guarding the inbounds play here on Doncic. And actually played for Canada at the Under-17 World Cup several years ago. It's funny how five years later he's now wearing the Lithuania shirt. Of course, Canada loaded with players as well. Here's Doncic. And great D by Jonas Valanciunas. Brasdakis gets in. Giga Dimitz. Well, he had his hand on the ball at first, and then when Brasdakis took it down, Dimitz was uh, put him in a tough position, reaching over the body. I think the tempo and pace definitely favors Lithuania as we look at the first quarter to this point. Razdakis off target. Surprising as the expectation, Lithuania shooters, great reputation for shooters coming from that country. And he gets the second to drop. Speaking of shooters, checking into the game, Clement Prepolic. Oh, Prepolic, as Chanchar goes out, is when he gets it going, he gets it going, doesn't he? He's really fun to watch. He can be a difference maker in this game with his three-point shooting as well. Of course, he had his uh, shot, potential game-winning shot against France in the semifinals at the Olympics, pinned on the backboard by Nick Batum right at the end. Tough way for him to finish his Olympics. There is the shot from Doncic. Of course, they did lose the bronze medal game as well, Slovenia, after that. Doncic just scores in so many ways. Complete player, gets into the paint, uses his body, creates space, and hits a beautiful fadeaway. The Cavishes. Here's Mendogas. Kuzminskis! Don't look now! That's a great sign for Lithuania. A streaky shooter right there. If he can get hot and add some three-point shooting, fantastic sign for Lithuania. Fascinating game with Iggy. Brasdekas guarding Doncic. Now out to Zoran Dragic. And Giga Dimitz with the rebound. Oh, he pulls his way forward. Right into Valanciunas. What physicality right there. Unbelievable. Valanciunas is such a physical specimen. Yet, Demetz doesn't give any muscle or weight away, does he? What a collision. Again, Doncic, look at him make that beautiful spin move, get into the body, create some space. Just what's making him so tough to stop his size and uh, skill in the paint. Of all the players that you think... Uh, skill in the paint. Of all the players that you think about that might really impact the game for Lithuania, I have to say Lekavich is not the first guy that comes to mind, but he finds himself in these positions. He's already got five points. Well, what I think is interesting is you know you're going to have the production in the post. You're going to have Valachunas and Sabonis. They need some somebody to score from the perimeter. Lekavich has gotten off to a great start here. Oh, makes this one of two. So the Dragic brothers on the court for Slovenia with Doncic, Dimets, and Prepolic. And they are well aware of Prepolic. Here is Doncic. And missing it quite badly. And Smith takes is. himself out of the play, creating a transition opportunity. Did right it. Ties it for Lithuania. And getting it right back, Dragic. So we saw Doncic frustrated with the miss. Ran after the ball. Put his team in a defensive transition disadvantage. Lithuania took advantage. Lukavich just again. Oh, are you kidding me? He's not the biggest man on the court, but it doesn't matter. He's getting what he wants.
moving into the spotlight. Final 15 seconds of the first quarter. About a six second differential, the game clock and shot clock. And Doncic, oh great defense. Oh, they call the foul on Domas Sabonis. And two free throws coming for Luka Doncic. No surprise, the crowd doesn't like that call. And the Slovenians outnumbered, but no doubt enjoying the moment. Max Veed is telling his guys to box out. He's conscious. Goes to the line. And this is his first. Only got five points to this. To this point, he's a little bit off in terms of his scoring. Well, he has such high expectations on him every time he takes the floor. I'm sure he'll work his way into the game for sure. Ido Moric checking in. Yeah. So Ido Moric replaces Luka Doncic. Eight point six seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Lakavishis dribbles left, puts up from the best baseline there for the follow. What a terrific hustle play by Gay Dreitis. Great way to finish the quarter. Wouldn't have it any other way. Tie game. So nobody finding Gary Dreyes. Nobody boxing out for Slovenia. And terrific finish for Lithuania. At the end of one, Slovenia 27, Lithuania 27. Well, you look at the free throw numbers, field goal shooting, more opportunities being taken by Lithuania. I think if you're Lithuania, you're really pleased with the way the first, uh, first quarter went. Again, there's much more offensive potential in Slovenia, but the tempo is really towards the Lithuania side. Again, beautiful play in the pick and roll there. Toby hitting the big three here. You just like to see a little more efficiency out of Doncic in the from the first quarter performance. And how about Lukavicius? Really gave Lithuania a spark. Yeah, Lukavicius. Leading him in scoring eight points in six minutes, and he missed that one, but Gedraitis was there for the follow. Well, courtside 1891 is the app that you need. Scan the barcode to get it in your smartphone. You get video stream schedules and scores for all these great national team games for this FIBA Eurobasket, but for all of the national team games, the Eurobasket qualifiers, World Cup qualifiers, America qualifiers, America's qualifiers for the World Cup, you name it, you get it. Second quarter action underway. Slovenia have got possession and were knotted. Couldn't be any tighter. Incredible atmosphere in Cologne as well. Jordan Dragic fouled. Oh no, he stepped out of bounds. Those are the type of unforced turnovers you want to try to avoid. Chance of Lietuva, Lietuva ringing throughout the arena. Translated Lithuania.
Iggy Brezek is pump fake and now the pass to Sabonis and fouled. Two free throws for Sabonis. Sabonis did such a great job using his body. Took the defender who was fronting him, pushed him up the lane, created the space, got to the foul line. Doncic watching from the bench. The start of the second half, uh, second quarter with Edo Murich in the game. Lithuania with their first lead, I think it is. No, they did lead briefly by two at the end of in the first quarter. So it's one, and Zorn Dragic rebounds and gets it to Goran Dragic. He gets it to Demetz. Oh, clever play from Demetz and Dragic. Dragic so good going to the left, pick and roll, beautiful. Made the game easy right there for Demetz. Dragic, Prepolic, Muric, Demetz, and Dragic. The Dragic brothers, Prepolic, up to Zorn Dragic, able to save it in bounds. Wow. And then Prepolic fouled, but not going to be awarded free throws. That was a sweet pass, as you talked about with Dragic. Prepolic for three, banks it in. Did he know the bank was open, or was that by accident? I tell you what, Prepolic is such a great three-point shooter that if he's banking them in, yep. all it takes is one to get hot. Iggy hands it off to Sabonis. Just kind of flung the ball up there. Now Dragic bounce pass to Zoran and fouled by Sabonis. I'll tell you, Zoran Dragic left his feet and I don't think he realized that he had a, he didn't think he had a, play, a, a way to shoot. Look at this three point shot. Preferably such an outstanding three point shooter. Tough to say, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He'll take it. He'll take the three points either way. Timeout on the court by Lithuania. So we'll go down to the bench. From there, it could have been off the backboard. I think he was trying, don't you? Well, maybe not with Doncic's reaction. <laughs> it's a good timeout for Lithuania here. Slovenia has some transition opportunities, starting to pick up the tempo, the pace of the game, and see if they can get back under control and play through the post as they have done early in the game. Well, Joko Bidis is going to come back into the game. And Brasdekas goes out. And Jordan Dragic, what I was trying to say was on that last play when he got fouled, he, he took off, I think, fully expecting to make the pass. And then he realized nobody was open. So he, was, he did well to get fouled on that play. Only makes one of two. Both teams have not been really consistent at the free throw line so far in the game. Three point shot is good! I oh, know Brasdakis is in the game. Sorry about that. He stayed in. And again, Gordon Dragic penetrates. Gives it to Edo Muric. Edo's not known as a three point shooter. So 
Valanciunas back in the game. Kuzminskis goes out. Sitting down, good minutes from him. And Jokovitis over to Iggy. And good deal. I tell you, this, there might not be a player better at knocking the ball away from behind than Soren Dragic. Crafty with those back tips for sure. Preplish looking for a little daylight, hands it off to Demet. And goes up, gets blocked. Able to pass it back outside to Prepolic. And Demetz reaches in and commits the foul. Fantastic physicality in the paint right there. Demetz seemed to have the advantage off the pick and roll, but outstanding defense from Valanciunas to go straight up, challenge the play. And then the defensive rebounding, the size and physicality of Lithuania's front court made its, made its mark right there. It's interesting, so Dragic goes out and Doncic comes back in. And do you think they play what, at their best when they're on the court together? Yeah, I think Coach uh, Sasha is trying to just balance it all out, uh, is trying to keep the team as consistent as possible, rest the players at different times, and then if, if they need to play together down the stretch, he has that in his back pocket. I think he's just trying to balance the team out and keep the team as consistent as possible with the lineups and rotations. So Sasha Sekulic takes Zoran Dragic out. He's going to bring Mike Toby back in on the next dead ball. When Toby gets back into the game, I think we'll look for Dragic, Toby pick and rolls to be a primary part of the offensive part, uh, game plan. Dragic knocks it over to Blazic. And again, Slovenia with an opportunity to rip by two. Prepolis thought he was going to get a foul called can't play for fouls in these situations. Not a game like this. Jokovitis, silky smooth, but missing. All batted out. Goes back to Slovenia. What do you think about the job Ziga Dimec did while Toby was out? Uh, he's a great compliment for Toby because of his physicality. Uh, he he plays so strong and physical down there. Now let's see if we can get some of the skill action some of the middle pick and rolls and things like this that, you know, has been a trademark of the Slovenian offensive attack. Doncic goes in over to Prepolic. Again, gets it. Oh, what a play by Prepolic spotting Blazic. Beautiful cut from Blazic and outstanding court vision from Prepolic right there. This is a tough matchup for Slovenia right here. All right, he knocks it away. Great job from Murich. And now up ahead, Blazic runs ahead and hands it off to Toby. Wow. Slovenia quickly up the court, kind of playing at the pace that Levi L Lithuania want to play and beat him at their own game. Valentinus, oh, he knew the double was coming, so instead of turning into Doncic, he went straight to the basket. D defensively, they can't get split like that. You know, if you're going to come double, you got to body him up. Doncic came over, he just got split too easy. Now here's the switch. They go right into the post. Toby. And he turns right into the double team on Sabonis. Then Preplich fouls Matos Gregonis. Toby looks like he took a shot to the face out of your screen. He's kind of bent over. He might have to come out of the game. I mean, what else would you expect in a game like this? Tremendous physicality for both teams. He turned. Remember, he turned into the double team. I don't think he saw Sabonis coming. I think it was a, it got blindsided, surprised, took the hit to the jaw area. Is he able to play through this? I think he has to. Former Wahoo, Virginia Cavalier, Mike Toby has fashioned quite a career. Look at that, the turnover. Good hands by Prepolic, knocking it away. And Luka Doncic takes a shot. 
And look at this, Valanchunas. Uh, nothing, just reached up. You got him in the face. Certainly out of your screen, you didn't see it, but Mark Cuban was asking for another sportsman like, and so was Sasha Sekulic. I mean, it's such a tough matchup for Valanchunas anyway. You can see basically the crossovers. And Toby's still holding his face. <laughs> Now they're gonna have a look at it to see, Mike, if this is an unsportsmanlike foul. And in my opinion, it's, it's, it's good that they do this. So we are going to check if there is a possibility to upgrade the foul from you personal see, uh, foul to a sportsmanlike foul. This so is what the referees are looking at right now. This is the play that we are reviewing, huh? Okay. I have a hard time seeing that as an unsportsmanlike call. Okay. I think he was That's just lost his balance, so he's going for the ball. reached in. Just kind of got him in the eye, and unfortunately. I think that's a common foul, in my opinion. It's one of the uh, unfortunate things that happens when you're a really good player like Dauntish. You cross, cross guys over, get them off balance, and you just take a hit. Are you confirming this? Yes. quickly over to check on him, so yeah, I think with you, they're not going to call that. Yeah. Good job by the referee. So here's the set where they like to send the, it'll be Prepolich cutting back door. He's covered, so they throw it up top, middle pick and roll situation. Don't just drive in. Beautiful. Slows down, lets the defender fly by, and has the ability to finish with his size and skill. So talented. It's a bonus. The Kavish is to Valanchunas and Edo Muric whistled for the foul on Valanchunas. There's the Lithuania offense. Is there a player, has there ever been a player like him? I don't think so with his complete game and his ability to score at the rim in the mid range and from, from deep. His ability to play pick and roll and, and make all the passes. He's really a special talent. And do you think he's playing at his optimal weight, for example? I mean, that's hard, that's hard to say, you know. He'll know that best, how he feels. There's well, always debate about his physical conditioning, uh, but it's hard to argue with the production that he puts out there. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. If that's how he likes it, and it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It makes one of two. And again, Lithuania kind of weathered the storm in that first half. Lithuania had all the momentum. And now the pass back to Toby. Kind of rushed his shot up. But again, they're getting very good looks right at the rim. You see Lithuania trying to isolate Norwich in the post. Oh, great block by Toby. Watch this again. He was complaining that he got hit in the head. He might have grazed him, certainly, at least, and maybe a little bit more. So the last several possessions, they've run the Spain pick and roll action. The beauty of Doncic is he, he picks out different options depending on what the defense does. They'll run set the same play several plays in a row and come out with a different play at the rim, play for a teammate spotting up for three, or his own finish. Reads the game so well. The Cavs is chasing Doncic. His pass batted by Kuzminskis, who's come back into the game. If you're Bacavish, you just must be thinking, wow. This is my opportunity to, to, to really do something special. I get to guard Doncic. Yeah. 
tough challenge, but if you're a competitor, one you, you really relish and look up to. Quick pass goes off Mertz's hands. The one thing that I notice is that the, the ball pressure from Lithuania has sped up the Slovenians a little bit more than, than we've seen normally. Even Luca, Luca will play at his own pace, but the ball pressure is, is impacting the game. Oh, look at that. The ball gets away, and up it goes. Murich hustles down, gets the layup. And for not the first time today, Lithuania punished for a turnover. Jeff, too, too soft with the ball. Too many times the ball's poked away. Uh, that's definitely a factor in, in getting these run-out transition opportunities for, for Slovenia. So something that Lithuania's got to discuss. A very good time out here. 12 points off turnovers for Slovenia, just one for Lithuania. Incredible sight for the Lithuanian fans. But here again is Doncic on that drive and showing his ability. And here again is the turnover, which inevitably leads to points when you take on Slovenia. To me, that's the difference in the game right now. Those, those turnovers, the ball's poked away out of the post, the ball's poked away up at the top, leading to loose ball, run out opportunities. It's, it's the, sm the small margin for error in the game. It's, it's, it's crazy, though, because at the end of the quarter, Lithuania had all the momentum. They battled back to tie it. And you just feel like they're going to be able to build on that, but they haven't. No. The, the tempo went from a Lithuania-style game, and now as Slovenia gets out in transition, uh, it's, it's definitely to their advantage right now. Let's see if the Lithuania team can finish this uh, second quarter strong. Well, the Cavish has come back in the game, and he was their most important player, really, in that first quarter. Here he is, trying to get away from Preplich. Very dangerous pass, Kuzminskis gets open, and Kuzminskis drills it. That's a great sign for Lithuania. Again, streaky shooter Kuzminskis, he can really impact the game. Doncic steps back. Jonas, oh, a little runner, and there, there was only one, one thing that was going to happen there. They were scoring. So timeout called by Slovenia. Outstanding response from Lithuania after the turnover, the timeout. Come out and get two quick buckets. They're right back into the game. Great job from the Lithuanian team. about it being a good sign it's because Miskus was hitting his shots and not only is he hitting it but how he's getting his shot good ball handling bringing himself up and then Gregonis either he was going to make that or because Miskus was going to tap it in empty side pick and roll really tough to guard when you have talented players like that really good response from Lithuania and now let's see if, if Slovenia can also step up and, and make some plays here. Paul Valentunas, he's now leading him in scoring with 30, excuse me, it's uh, still Lekavich is leading him in scoring with eight points. Valentunas and Kuzminskis each with seven. And with Dragic checking back in the game, the ball turned over. What's he uh, looking confused? 
it's a it's a physical game, and sometimes it's easy for coaches and players to lose their focus and concentration on officials. It's best just to focus on the game. Calls aren't always going to go your way. You don't want to waste your energy, waste your time complaining. Oh, boy, look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Drag it. Beautiful. Another turnover, and they capitalize. And Kuzminskis quickly to the other end, goes up with the left hand, and just like that, one play completely changes the game for Slovenia. It happens on the defensive end. The lob to Toby, and that time unsuccessfully. Kuzminskis from deep. That's more like it. Again, you got to finish your plays at one end. When you miss layups and have turnovers, the other the opponent gets a chance to run out. Beautiful floor spacing for Lithuania. The Dragons answers, boy, we have got some bright stars on show tonight. Three minutes, three minutes before 6 p.m. here in Germany. Three-point shot, no good, no foul, and Lithuania possession. And Gregonis, just as Slovenia were complaining about the physicality, he's appealing for a foul on the perimeter. But again, the physicality is part of the game. You know, players can't complain about that. Don't play for fouls. You've got to play through that contact and find a way to finish plays. Shoot strong shots, shoot good shots. If you don't have it, move the ball. Shot selection is critical, especially against the physical defense that both teams are playing. Number three is Goran Dragic, the second foul. And free throws now for Lithuania. I mean, you coached Poland last year at the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament against both of these teams. <laughs> that must have felt like an impossible task because they don't have too many weaknesses, do they? No, these are these are outstanding teams. You know, the way Slovenia played last year was something special and with the, the run they went on to the Olympics. Uh, and then also, too, Lithuania playing at home in Kaunas. Uh, that was also a, a really big challenge but again you can see the the quality and talent both teams the competitiveness um, you know it's been an excellent game so far and, and again the margin of difference is is very slim there's Blazic knocked away the Kavish is doing a great job defensively for Dragic that's his right. Kobe keeps it alive. Valentunas comes up with a miss. Lithuania trailing by three. Gregonis. Oh, what a finish. Great play by Gregonis. Valentunas wanted the ball in the post up. He took it out, said, I'm taking Dantich to the basket. Great drive and finish. Dantic. Turns it over. Kuzminskis hustles down the floor. Gets rejected by wow. Chanchar. What a block from Chanchar. Incredible re rim protection. And then he finds it in. And he scores and he's fouled. It's the play of the game. Vlatko Chanchar. Both ends amazing. Fantastic block. Here you see the play. Kuzminskis going strong to the basket. Outstanding block. And then to run the floor and be able to finish strong. Beautiful. Incredible sequence from Blatko Chanchar over Valanciunas. Wow. Fantastic. What a play from Blatko Chanchar in the final minute of the first half. The Cavishes for three. And Chanchar 
quite get it, but now they pass it up to Tobe. Fantastic court vision. Beautiful pass from Doncic. What a great ball ahead pass. Toby behind the defense. Easy to. There have been moments where this Slovenia team has just struck so quickly. Now Lithuania with perhaps the last possession of the half. Grigonis for three. Got it! Oh, and the ball goes out of bounds. But the clock has expired. And that is it for one heck of a first half. Was it as good as advertised? I'd say it was better than advertised. Slovenia lead it 51-48 over Lithuania. Well, Mike, it just could not have been really any more exciting. Pretty, pretty even shooting stats right there. Again, rebounding towards Lithuania, not a surprise with the strong front line. I think the turnovers to me was, was a main number for everybody. Good production from the players there. Dragic, Kuzminskis leading teams. Again, nine Lithuania turnovers at halftime. But still, as we look at Lithuania, just an amazing sequence at the late, rather, in the half from Vlatko Chanchar only for Lithuania to come up and make a big play at the end. Fantastic finish. Again, the Chanchar block and, done, and, and one three-point play, and then the ball ahead pass from Doncic to Toby. Again, for me, the numbers, nine turnovers for Lithuania and 14 points off of after turnovers for Slovenia compared to one. Just great to watch high level teams go at it, high level players. This Eurobasket has, is, is, has all the potential to be something special. Well, these, two teams, these two teams will be a big part of that. I guess Lithuania, from their standpoint, I don't, it's hard to know who's really got the upper hand right now. I don't think anybody does. No, I mean, the game can go either way. It's going to depend on a few factors. Lithuania's got to do a better job taking care of the ball. Both teams have to adjust to the physicality, not worry about, you know, calls and referees uh, decisions and things like this. Don't waste your energy on that. Play strong. Well, the points off turnovers has been crucial. For example, right here, the turnover and Slovenia don't waste the opportunity. They get down and they score. I mean, that's a skill. That's a team skill. The ability to create the turnover, the ability to get the defensive stop, and then quickly get up the floor and finish. Slovenia is really, really good at it. And then this was great play by Kuzminskis. What I like is you see a mistake by a player like Kuzminskis, or maybe he gets a shot blocked, but then he comes back and makes a big play. Well, that's the point about great players. You know, it's it's about how many ways you can impact the game and how many big plays you can make. Everybody's going to make mistakes in the game, but if you're out there, you know, you make 10 plays, you make eight good ones. And then you've always got the specter of foreign dragons. This is the play of the game so far, or the sequence. We'll see this on highlights for sure. Chanchar. And then he went to the other end and scored. But anyway, not letting in that fashion. Anyway, it's at halftime. It's a three-point lead for Slovenia. Who will you become when the moment arrives? You're carrying the expectations of the entire nation. Representing your uncle and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your home. All eyes on you, all hope, all hope. Because when you win, you win for all. Back to Pau Gasol. Yeah, just decides why not. Seneikos Keller is now the Eurobasket all-time leading scorer as he passes Tony Parker.
couple seconds ticking off the clock here. Serbia possession, three-point attempt is good from Bogdan Bogdanovic. Bogdan Bogdanovic just embarrassed Skelly on that last play. Shot clock, count of five, and they've lost possession. It's turned over, and Ertel will lead the charge, and it's Lothurn. Oh, again! Massive rejection from Antetokounmpo. Offensive must be double digits. His market oh! throws it down one handed. That's a huge play. Such power in the play. Copenham finds a wide over Markkinen. And Wilson dumps it off. And this time, who wow. was it? That Tome that went yes, for the block. Sir. What a block by Luigi that Tome. Eric Murphy trying to dunk it this time. No avail. With the face show on Tice! Now Doncic explodes up the court. He takes it all the way. Oh! How about that from Luka Doncic? He is now in the game big time. Coast to coast, Luka Doncic. The boy trying to follow, now Tima. Yanichenix inside the arc. And oh! oh! Put back by Porzingis. Who would not want that man on their Chris team? Stop. Unbelievable. Porzingis. Turns a corner, Schroeder in the passing lane, saves it, gets it back. Three on one for Germany. It ties. Oh! He just ripped through the ozone layer. Well, of the many talented players here in this Lithuania team, Mindogas Kuzminskis is certainly one of them. And not surprising, uh, he is leading his team and scoring here at halftime, coming off the bench and sparking them with 10 points. Again, a streaky shooter. You know, he's known as a post-up player and, and other things, but it's great for Lithuania to see him hit some shots and, and impact the game like that. It's been really important to complement the, the front court play of Sabonis and Valanciunas. Yeah, he was big, especially in that run where they came from behind in the first quarter to tie it at 27. Great teamwork and spacing in transition here. Extra pass, three. You get a sense for how special this game is just by looking at the stands. How many people are here watching this game? Slovenia, meanwhile, top four. Well, Gordon Dragic, he also has 10 points. And you know Gordon's going to get his, his points, but it was kind of the way he, he got them. And also, this play right here in particular, look at this. This is classic Gordon Dragic. Crafty, alert, pokes the ball away. Again, one of the points off of turnovers here. Dragic impacting the game defensively, turning defense into offense. 
you know, when you talk about the greats of European basketball, where does Goran Dragic fit in? Wow, I think he's underrated for sure when you talk about the all-time greats, but the, the career that he's put together, the whole body of work in yeah. Europe and the NBA is something special, something he can be really, really proud of. Eurobasket MVP 2017, Goran Dragic, retired from the national team after that. numbers uh, but he's made his teammates better uh, I think that he can be a little bit more efficient at times but again let's give Lithuania's defense credit they've really tried to speed up the, the Slovenian players they've tried to be physical and try to guard them um, but I think you have to be happy uh, with, if you're Slovenia with with what Luka's done so far do you think Slovenia fans were a little bit spoiled last summer how easy it was until they got to the semifinals of the Olympics I mean they were just you know, in that zone, they played so well together. And again, you know, Doncic, for example, 48 points against Argentina, leading these guys on such a great run, uh, elevating the game of all his teammates. Um, really, they were on a mission to get to the Olympics, and they achieved that goal and, and really did something special. But it's it's hard to be that great all the time, uh, and we'll see if they can kind of get on that role in this tournament as well. Boris Dio there, the part of the French national team set up now, going up and uh, talking things over with some of his former NBA friends.
maybe another player that kind of flew under the radar just a little bit. You know, I think what you find is something, you know, like Dragic with Doncic, because Doncic has become such a huge star. But Dragic, even though he was the MVP of the last year of basket, has kind of like lost in his shadow a little bit. But what's fantastic is that those two guys can complement each other. But you can also say the same with Dio and uh, Tony Parker. Without a doubt, Dio was just as key to those French teams as, as Parker. Parker obviously driving it at the point guard position, but Dio as a talented athletic four man brought so much to that team as well. There's Vincent Collet, the head coach of the French national team, getting ready for his game tonight. And there's Shrek. He's getting ready for the game as well. Oh, wait, he's here. He's at this game. So, yeah, Dragic definitely played both windows this summer, and uh, I think Slovenia are glad that he is back in the fold. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll see him at the World Cup next year, which will be in Indonesia, Japan, and the Philippines. That'll be spectacular. You know how special that tournament is, coaching Poland to that surprise uh, quarterfinal appearance. Yeah, the World Cup is a wonderful thing. But, you know, actually, we found it was you know, sometimes more difficult to win games at Eurobasket than the World Cup. Uh, the, the competition here in Europe is so deep and so competitive. So many talented countries and countries on the rise. Eurobasket is fantastic competition. In, in my opinion, the best uh, region uh, of competition uh, that FIBA has. So Gregonis, as the second half gets underway, makes the first shot for Lithuania. Again, what we saw here, Doncic drew the double team, had the matchup advantage, and they ran a double at him. Like a vicious ran at him, got the ball out of his hands. Uh, they pass it around, but Kavish is over to Sabonis. That's all. Now one on four, Blazic. She's not going to take on. Good transition defense there from Lithuania. Doncic. Fades. Just a little bit off today, isn't he? Again, he got into the paint, created a good shot. That's his shot. He just missed. And the bump on Blazic for reach. Blazic has eight points, all scored in the first half. Here's the pass to Valanchunas. Doesn't get it to drop. Oh, what a pass to Nikolic. And great hands, but a foul called. But they might have taken it away from him. We expect that those big plays from Valanciunas and Sabonis down low, but it's just not that easy, is it? Not easy to finish in traffic with, with size and physicality out there. Doncic, the lob, they were ready. Great play by Sabonis. Excellent job from Sabonis, help side defense. Gregonis, oh, how good has he been today? 14 points. And with that three, Lithuania now seven for 11 from beyond the arc. Lithuania in front by two. They've started the second half better. Kajis, Max Vitas applauding his players. Look at Gregonis. And that's another thing. Lithuania have, you know, the likes of the Sabonises, the Jokobitises, the the bonuses, but you got guys like Gregonis who can win you basketball games. Doncic. Oh, great pass. That's goal interference already off the glass. Again, that's such a tough matchup for Valanciunas. They draw the switch, and he's got to stay in front of Doncic. Doncic is so crafty, gets into the paint and sets up Toby with a beautiful pass.
Here's a switch. They've got Sabonis with a post matchup against Doncic. Look to make him defend, attack him in the post. And Valanciunas with the putback. Valanciunas is so big and strong on the board. Look at that. Blazic beats him down the court. Beautiful. What a pass. And Nikolic called for the foul on the Cavishes. Doncic has five assists after that last pass off the floor. Look at this. Beautiful. Ball ahead passes like that just encourage your team to run the floor so hard. Easy baskets, transition points. Really help your offense be efficient. Again, you see this is the second possession in a row. They ran a side pick and roll. Get Doncic in the matchup in the post. Uh, Doncic doing all he could, but Sabonis wasn't going to be denied. Again, the switching from Slovenia trying to protect Doncic or certain players. Uh, Lithuania intelligently attacking it now in the low post. Let's see if Doncic tries to attack. Oh, good job by Chanchar to bat it out. Now Doncic. Doesn't go for the three, runs into Valanciunas, stays down. And Blazic picks up the foul. They're going to go pick up Doncic to make sure he's okay. So I thought Valanciunas played that perfectly. He took away the, right, the baseline drive, stood his ground. Doncic just collided with him and lost the ball. <laughs> Not impressed. Yeah. Gregonis from deep. That was a tough shot. He didn't really have his balance on that one. Chanchar from deep. Count it! Again, when Doncic gets so deep into the paint, draws the help defense in, that's where his teammates are going to be open, and Doncic can make every pass. That was a beautiful pass out to Chancho. His assist is just going up, up, and away right now. He's got six. Again, same thing, the matchup in the post. Now they're looking high-low. And Valentinus has it knocked away, and then he travels. Lithuania just trying to play bully ball right now. Put that ball in the low post. Attacking Doncic, making him defend. Last two possessions this time, they looked high-low. Valanciunas attacked from the, the, from the nail. So, we're Dragic in the game with Doncic now. I think this is the backcourt time that we've been waiting for. Yeah, you think that the Slovenia backcourt might be able to win this game for their team. We're about to find out. Here's the lob! Beautiful. Toby, right on cue. Goran Dragic just brings that extra bit of quickness that makes it a little tougher to defend. And that's the difference. You know, you have two outstanding playmakers, Dragic and Doncic. They can both play pick and roll and, and create for their teammates. And look away, not quite as effective. Doncic back to Toby for three. That's a line drive. Doncic not able to get the basketball. No, he forces a turnover on Sabonis. Jason Kidd looking on. Michael Finley to his left. Jason Kidd, head coach of the Dallas Mavericks. Watching uh, Luka Doncic, their star player. Watch this. So. Well, if it, if it hit out of bounds there right at the end, that definitely was off of Sabonis. Tanchar back to Toby again. And again, the ball goes off of Lithuania. What's impressive is Luka Doncic as a guard is in there rebounding with the biggest yep. front court guys 
that are possible. Valanciunas, Sabonis, he's in there competing with them. Just yeah, he's just a complete player. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Giedraitis comes in for Bukavishis. Chanchar. Now we see Doncic in the post. Uh oh, he goes around and he throws it down. Onigi. Again, I, I would love to see Slovenia do that more. He can post up every player on this court. Make the game easy, create for his teammates through the post. Maybe we're about to see that. And look at this. The ball gets away from Sabonis. But Blazic only able to knock it on the court, but less than three seconds. They got to put it up quickly. They get it up. Iggy! And it's an air ball. So Slovenia, nevertheless, do well in that possession. And how does Lithuania counter now? They bring in Kuzminskis for Valanciunas and maybe get a little bit quicker. Doncic down the other end of the floor right now on the block. Let's see if he tries to post up again this possession. Uh, he just took Crash Dacus to school. Now let's see if he's got an after school program. He's going to go. He's got him on his back. Crash Dacus holds his ground out to Toby. And the long rebound, the benefit of the three attempts. Step back from the corner, Doncic. And Jokovitis called for the foul. So again, even though they come up empty on those plays, you have Doncic posting up, creating a great top of the key three for Toby. And then you have Doncic posting it up or isolating for a step back three on the backside. Quick pass, Blazic! There's their sideline back door play. <laughs> they did it once again. And once again, it was Doncic that delivered the pass. If we can see it again, they basically wait till the defender's out of position and cut the near side elbow guy back door. Everybody's worried about the stagger double on the back side. Blazic just cuts to the hoop. Great pass for two. Well, this was the basket where he spun. He had Brasdekas on his back and just don't get home. And that's the play you just talked about, the back door. They've been running it for several years. Definitely something that obviously Lithuania is probably frustrated that they gave up the basket on, something I'm sure they talked about in their game plan and the preparation. Slovenia is just really good at it. And look at the numbers. Maybe not as many rebounds today, but 10 points, seven assists, and approaching a double-double. And it's tough to compare, you know, numbers from the NBA game and the FIBA game, just it's different types of possessions and things like this, but he's making impactful plays for sure. Iggy penetrates back out to Jokobitis. It's a bonus. And again, Toby just really does a great job in there on Dragic. I don't know, did, was he expecting Kobe to be there? I think he might have expected his teammates to get to the corner in the 45 off that drive. Uh, they did not fill those spots and it ended up being a turnover. Really difficult point in the game for Lithuania, trailing. By several points, Jokobitis passes it out. Iggy Brasdekas, oh boy, tough finish. Went right past Blazic. He made that look easy. Quick pass to Doncic. 
The help comes. Giedraitis ties him up. And they call a foul. Again, we see Doncic post up two possessions in a row. Now they run him off a back screen from the top. He's open, get the ball in the post, draws the foul. Outstanding finish. Right through the heart of the Slovenia defense. Finishing strong. And Doncic again, and they get the foul called on Brazdekas. This is what makes Doncic so tough. First of all, he's going to play pick and roll, and he's going to break you down. And then if that's not really working as well as they want, then you can just go into the post. And I mean, that's a really tough matchup for everyone. Now some chants <laughs> from the Slovenia fans, MVP, MVP, now being drowned out by the Lithuania booze. Sure, Mark Cuban agrees with that chant. It just presents so many problems. Ooh. This is that one badly. One area of his game that hasn't been thriving lately has been his free throw shooting. 11 points for Doncic. Now Jokovitis gets in, and Doncic competing, but Sabonis this time gets the benefit of the call, so it stays at this end. Sabonis is going to go out, and Valanciunas is going to come back into the game. The stage it feels like with Lithuania they've done everything they've 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 thrown everything but the kitchen sink at Slovenia but they're still trailing by six points. Doncic guarding and scoring. Definitely part of their game plan. Putting the ball into the post. Attacking Doncic, making Doncic guard in the low post. Prepolic with a foul there, stopping the transition. Again, look at him back down Doncic, attacking him. Whether it's been Sabonis on the switches or now Kuzminskis. They've made it a point to really attack Doncic down on the block. So the pass to Kuzminskis, driving in. It's good, Lithuania. Now Dragic. And Dragic. And the rebound, Valanchunas with 145 remaining in the third quarter. Now quickly the other way, Dragic! And he beats Bukavicis down the floor. And a timeout has been called. And Max Vitas taking his players to task as Matsoni goes over to the commissioner's table. Just like the first half, Dragic coming up with a turnover and gets the run out layup, showing his experience, showing his leadership, impacting the game at the most important time. Fantastic play by Goran Dragic. Yeah, it was absolutely and a huge moment in the game as well. So Slovenia back up by four points. That's just tough. You know, you have a chance to tie the game. You're, you have the momentum of the last couple plays. And then to have a, a you know, Dragic make a play like that.
So they're trying to sort something out over there. I don't know what is it related to, the clock? Looks like a timing issue. Okay, a thumbs up comes, and this was the play by Dragic where he just picks the pocket of Jokovitis and puts it up and in. Jokovitis, great player, but got picked by the veteran. Of course, Jokovitis plays for the Lithuania legend Sarunas Yasikavishis at Barcelona these days. The big sequence, Slovenia back up by four points. And once again, they're gonna stop play. The lock-in referee, I think, has to adjust something. On his microphone, he hears the booze. Kozlowskis. <laughs> it's not often you see this happen. So. Mazzoni helps Kozlovskis. And the Lithuanian fans looking on anxiously, excitedly, hopefully, but still trailing by four points. The Kavishes. And he is bumped by Dragic. So free throws coming for Lakavishis. Probably not a good play by Dragic. Uh, he's been physical defensively the entire game. Everybody has. Just, again, bumped him at the wrong time. You gotta be smart when you know the opposing team is in the bonus. You don't wanna send them to the foul line unnecessarily. Preblitz has checked into the game, as has Giga Dimets, Edo Muric. And they're playing alongside both Dragic's. And the Cavages gets both free throws. Dragic gets into the paint, steps back. Edo Muric for three. Again, that's not the strength of his game. Yeah, if you're Lithuania, you're happy he's taking that yep, shot. You'll live with that. Now Lekavishis into Kuzmetskis, and he ties it. And Slovenia have to call timeout. I mean, you got to get your you got to get your guys a breather. But it just goes to show when you take Doncic off the court, things change. That's a great play by Dragas to get into the paint. They draw in, but they draw in for a reason. You know, they'll live with that shot from, from Murich out there. Kuzminskis has had a great game to this point. Finishing here at the rim over Doncic as they've chosen to post him up. And there's the game tying basket right there. You can see the physical defense both of these teams. Great catch and finish by Kuzminskis. And the Lithuanian fans predictably over the moon. We've seen some great haircuts from a lot of these Lithuania fans <laughs> as well. Kuzminskis with 16 points, 7 of 10 from the floor. Of course, has some NBA experience, but has spent the majority of his career in Europe. Just under a minute remaining in this, fir in this third quarter, and they count the five-second call. I think they got Muric for an offensive foul. Oh, sorry, a push. Yeah. I think another look. Morich hit Kuzminskis as he tried to cut to get open.
So a big turnover. And a chance for Lithuania to go back in front. Kuzmiska spins. Takes it in. He gets fouled by Demitz. And all that experience from Kuzminska is coming to the fore. Playing with great confidence right now, attacking the basket. There's your guy with the haircut. He's loving it. He's sure these two free throws are good. Wow. He needs to cheer a little harder. So Kuzminskis can still put Lithuania in front if he makes this one. Got a whole nother quarter to play. A lot of big moments still to go in this game. And he misses both incredibly. Demet swoops in for the rebound. Dragic out to Zoran Dragic. Dragic again pulls up for three. Good. And big basket. Huge. Big basket. 14 points for Goran Dragic. They'll take it down to the end if they can. Lekavishis and turns it over. Demetz gets it over to Edo Muric. Back to Dragic. Steps behind the arc. And Lithuania escaped. Incredible, incredible game. Incredible atmosphere here in Cologne. Three quarters in the books. Slovenia leading 69 67. Over Lithuania. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Well, Mike, what about these numbers? Well, I think both teams would like to be shooting from the free throw line a little bit better. And here we'll have a look. At, I, we'll have a look at the third quarter plays. Just a lot of good end-to-end -end action. Fantastic highlights here. Again, both teams. Great finish. Beautiful pass from Doncic out, Kankar. And this is what, again, you know you're going to get that from Toby two or three times a game. And look away and you know it's coming. And again, Doncic in the post. Really something that you'd love to see more from Slovenia. They went to it quite a bit in the third quarter. Lithuania responded. And there's the, the pick from Dragic, easy two. Kuzminskis tied it with the nice layup. Dragic responded. Valanchunas in the drop coverage, buries the big three. Game setting up for a beautiful finish. Great fourth quarter ahead. Scanning the barcode to get courtside 1891. Video stream schedules and scores. It'll get to your smartphone. Perfect thing to have. So the same five remains on the court for Slovenia. Now Prepolic hands it off on Ziga Demets. Couldn't control it. Igi Brasdekis. And tough play. Jordan Dragic saves it in bounds. Lithuania might come up with a bass, uh, an opportunity, and they are going to call the foul. Potential three-point play for Valanciunas, so or are they going to say it was before the shot? I think that's the right call, Jeff. He took the contact. Boom. 
and then he goes up after All the right. rest of the yeah, You're right. You're right. But how about the physicality between Valanciunas and Dimet? Uh, Dimet is. He's a, he's a perfect foil in this game, isn't he? Just yeah. for that very fact, he just kind of takes, just kind of neutralizes the impact of Valanciunas. Impressive, impressive physicality. So Toby back in the game now. Here comes Brasdakis, a little runner. Oh, it goes out. He stays with it, though. He gets it back. He puts it up. It's good. He ties it. Strong finish in the paint. Great hustle, multiple efforts. Great effort there. Dragic gets in the paint. Tough drive and the foul on the Cavishes. There's Zygodimet looking now. Could be the. He'll be called on again to go back out. All I can say is that is a very big man. Lithuania fans in full throat here, giving it up for their national team. Ooh. Badly missed with the game knotted from Gordon Dragic. First free throw attempt of the game for him. Well off. Oh, now he's missed too. We saw Kuzminskis misses a couple as well for Lithuania, who now have a chance to take the lead. Slovenia is four for nine from the foul line. Wow. All batted out of bounds. And really, their stars have not been great at the line. So Goran Dragic 0 for 2, and Luka Doncic 2 for 4. Luka Doncic back in the game. Rasdekis has really been good putting the pressure on that defense. He stays with it. He gets it back. Gets it over to Kuzmetskis. And Toby and Lithuania just can't get the lead. They've had their chances. Brasdekis has looked, Iggy Brasdekis has looked uh, dangerous, hasn't he? Yeah, he's played well. Look at the late delivery of Prepolic. Prepolic off the back of the iron board. They would have Great paid look. for that shot. Great look. The Kavishas. Gregon is definitely a player that can put it in the basket if he gets some space. The Kavishas steps inside the arc. Get it! Lithuania taking the lead! Doncic calls his play shoulder. Spain pick and roll action at the top. Finds Prepolic. And nice Prepolic, oh, great decision by Prepolic. Beautiful. You know Prepolic has a three-point threat. He's showing there's more dimensions to his game. That was a beautiful pass. And it goes to Valanciunas, and he's held by Toby. Not a bad foul, just Slovenia's second in this fourth quarter. A terrific play. Jokovitis now comes back in for Lekavicius, who's really been solid today. So Jokovitis has to continue that good backcourt play for Lithuania. Sabonis. Takes it right at Toby, passes back out, Kuzminskis for three! Wow! The hero emerges! Big shot, great pass from Sabonis. Kuzminskis buries it. You could tell once the first one went down, he was shooting the ball of confidence today. Quick pass, so they get it right back to Toby. And this is a great point from Doncic. It's not always him making the assist pass. He made the hockey assist pass. Again, Prepolic finding his teammate Toby on the roll. Great team basketball from Slovenia. Gregonis. Wow. He is just so good. 
when he gets space. Doncic for three. Six and a half minutes remaining. Lithuania now in the ascendancy. Leading by three. Sabonis turns, scores over Toby. And Sasha Sekulic calls timeout. Lithuania have continued to battle. They know their identity. They put the ball in the post. They play through Sabonis. They play through Valanciunas. Again, it creates open shots for their team. Has to feel good knowing that your son plays at this level, but his team is second best right now. Kuzminskis is a huge reason why with 19 points. Kuzminskis has really stepped up for Lithuania. It's great to see, you know, while other big men, Sabonis, for example, with this beautiful finish, Valanciunas will rightfully get a lot of attention. It's great to see Kuzminskis raise his game to start off the Eurobasket with a great performance. Five points advantage. Now the pressure back on Slovenia. And the turnover, but a foul called. Kuzminskis accepts it. Good gamble. Lithuania have had to fight through the adversity to get to this point. Now let's see how they play with the lead. Oh, fortuitous bounce for Slovenia. Shot clock winding down. Chanchar, run off the three-point line. And did not get the shot off in time. Momentum has definitely swung towards Lithuania at this point of the game. Let's see what Slovenia can do to, to respond. Look at this crowd. It is unbelievable. You think that we're in Lithuania right now. Looks familiar like Countess last summer. Victory would be very sweet for Lithuania after what happened at the Olympic qualifying tournament last year. Of course, it's a different year, some different players, but for the countries and the fans, they don't forget. However, Brasdakis, Iggy Brasdakis, turns it over. And Mike, it has to be said, as Bukavishis comes back into the game, a long way to go. 547 with these two teams and the talent on the floor. You know, it's, it's setting up to be a great finish. Spain pick and roll action again for Slovenia. They draw the switch. And Doncic this time, just a little bit of hesitation and pump fake and gets Sabonis to bite and he gets the contact. So hard for these big men to guard. Once they draw that switch, it's such an advantage. Again, you know, what Doncic tries to do now is get to the free throw line, get the feeling of seeing the ball go through the rim, and kind of try to get hot down the stretch. Well, Zygodimic has already fouled out of the game for Slovenia, and but nobody else has four fouls at this stage. Sabonis has only two. And Valentunas has two. Big free throws. 
And Luka Doncic does only get one of two. Frustrated, you can see the frustrated look on his face. Pass back to Sabonis. Outside the Gregonis, fouled by Prepolic. I suppose in a way, Gregonis is the Prepolic of Lithuania. He's the guy that you don't want to be having any type of attempts from three-point range. Yeah, run him off the three-point line for sure. You could see Prepolic's determination to get out there and and close them out and be on time defensively. Three-point shot, and well, we set him up, and he didn't make it. So again, Doncic. There's the switch. He's got Sabonis again. And Sabonis reaches in and gets him on the hand. Seen it so many times in this game where there's Valanciunas and Sabonis having to guard Doncic. So 14 fouls on Lithuania. I don't know if that's a good thing or not for Slovenia because they're not shooting free throws well. Again, the switch pick and roll coverage. Doncic one on one. Beautiful pass. pass. What a pump fake to get Bukavishes out of the way, and then he just lays it up and in. The fantastic court vision from Doncic saw the defense cheating. Entry pass, the bonus denied. Good. Four and a half minutes to go. Here comes Kachar again. Against a three point lead. Lithuania, and they get it to Toby once again. So, again, as soon as Toby gets behind the defender, they can't let him drop behind him, get behind him, they got to drop with him. Beautiful pass over the top from Doncic for the easy two. Here's the replay. You can see Toby slip behind Sabonis. Beautiful pass from Doncic. Well, Doncic isn't scoring, but he is setting him up. And he now has nine assists. Again, so crucial. 81 78. Under four minutes to go. Doncic for three. There for the follow, Toby. Gregonis into the corner. Here comes Butkavich. Oh, oh, what in the, what in the world is that? Jokovitis, bounce pass, Valanciunas. Oh, hit out of bounds. And then Doncic gets an inadvertent elbow or arm to the face. Watch this. 
Great penetration. Great pass. He caught him after he put the shot up. Watch. After it's blocked. Oh, that could be an elbow. They should go look at that, shouldn't they? Valentinus is just so physical down there. Boy, Valentinus very fortunate on that occasion. 0.8 seconds on the shot clock. Kudagonis gets it off, the perfect player. Tonchic rebounds and runs. And again now, Slovenia, a chance to take the lead. Hands oh, it off, goodness. Toby! Again, you cannot let get on Luca's back. When he gets you on his back, it's over. And there was an example. Luca got the defender on his back, two on one on the big man, and a beautiful late delivery to Toby. Gregonis for three. Well, he was on the money early in the game, and now a wide open miss. Under three minutes. Doncic. Back to Toby. Drag it. Good! Ice! It's a tale of two three-pointers. One open three missed, and one open three made. Drag it. Stretches the lead to four. Again, beautiful playmaking right there from, from the team, Slovenia. That is just a, a great pass by Doncic. We're sitting over, kind of going in our minds right now, Mike. Here's Doncic. When he gets you, the defender on his back, it's two on one on Valanciunas, the big man, and look at that beautiful playmaking. Puts it on the plate for Toby, easy too. And Toby makes sure to say thank you every time because he knows that Luka is doing the heavy lifting on that play. Look at the emotion. Not only the fans, but you can see the emotion with Doncic and the rest of the Slovenian team. They really want it. Doncic with 12 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists. Even what has been, I think he would admit, a very difficult game. He still has a double-double. Look at that. Razdakis, drive, gets blocked by Chanchar. Quick pass up to Goran Dragic, two on two, and he's going to bring it back out. Lithuanian fans on the edges of their seats, most of them standing as their team now is trailing against this savvy Slovenia team. Toby goes up for the putback, and he's fouled, I think, by Lekavishic. Lekavich is going to say Toby came over his back, but he's got to do a better job of blocking out earlier, holding his ground earlier. Then it becomes a more apparent over the back foul. So Toby is the latest player to miss a free throw. And it's really setting it up for Slovenia. If they lose in this game, it's because of what's happened at the charity strike. They have been borderline bad. He makes one of two. Six for 13. You, you shouldn't win games shooting less than 50%, really less than 60%. Brazdekis. Again, the side pick and roll where they draw the switch with Doncic, trying to post up. And it's a bonus! Catches Doncic with an elbow. And Doncic is so upset, he doesn't even want to be helped up. Watch this. 
You just can't swing your elbows like that, can you? I think it's inadvertent for sure, but it's an offensive foul. Now they're going to look and see if it is an unsportsmanlike. So here is, again, they're going to decide. I got a feeling they're going to call it. But I'm with you. I think it, I don't think he meant to do it. But it's the result of swinging. You got, you got to be aware when you swing your arms like that, don't you? Hey, he's just trying to create space for himself to get his post-up opportunity. Here's his reverse pivot. Falls above his head. Now he swings through, catches him in the mouth. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's going to be an unsportsmanlike. You think no? I think it should just be a regular foul. I don't think there was any intent to try to hit him. No, I don't think there was either, but still, if it's... Isn't it like if it's a dangerous play or if it's uh, over overly physical, it could be called? Possible. Ooh. I, do, I, I absolutely agree. I think it's an... I don't think there's any intent whatsoever. And you've also got Doncic, who getting right up in there. So he's putting himself at risk. Well, he recognizes that they're targeting him. They're, dry, they're putting him in those switches and trying to post him up. One thing we do know is he caught him with the elbows. Yes. So there's no play acting here from Doncic. He took one for the team. Looks like we got a decision coming. What are they talking about here? Were they going to have dinner tonight? <laughs> Wojcik wasn't even looking at the video. They call it. They called it. I thought they would. Of course, it's easier for me to say that now. I'm proud of myself, Mike. You got I, it right. That's all years of experience right there. I just think it's that. No, I think it's, I think they're looking at it like it's it's a dangerous yep. play and they called him the, the physical and, but they definitely thought about it. For sure. I think the referees went through the process really well right there. I'm fairly certain that Mark Cuban watching courtside wanted that to be an unsportsmanlike. I think that whole Dallas it. Mavericks section wanted that, that call for sure. They're definitely pulling for Slovenia. So Doncic, who has had some misses at the line, gets both to go. And now he looks at some of the Lithuania fans that are not being very nice to him, to put it mildly, with some of the signs that they're getting. <laughs> <laughs> He's enjoying it. <laughs> 88 81. Slovenia on top with 150 remaining. Key possession here defensively for Lithuania. Doncic again. Dribbles left. Fade away from three. Wow. I don't I had a chance to go in the long rebound. Oh boy, that is adding more frustration for Lithuania. They got to get the ball back. They got to get the stop. Doncic. Now quickly. Doesn't have to be a three if you're Lithuania. McCavish just puts it up. Oh boy, that was clutch. Beautiful drag screen and transition. Pushed it, flattened out the defense, and then waited for Valanciunas to run into it. Got to the middle. Great finish. Important bucket for Lithuania. And if they can get another stop here, they'll be right back in business. Dragic. Shot clock winding down. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Terrible play. The collision with the shot clock about to expire.
that just a loss of control? I think so. But on the other hand, they've missed free throws. Although Blazic today, I'm not sure what his percentage is. He's hasn't taken a free throw. And Blazic does indeed make the first. And Sabonis goes out. And I don't know, is there a turning point in this game? Was it that missed three by Gregonis and the made three by Dragons to go up by four? It's hard to say, you know, it's, it's been really competitive. But I think that Slovenia put themselves in position to win with maybe three, four minutes to go. And wow. And Gregonis' shot just did not drop. And now Slovenia in no rush. Doncic is going to take it down. He's suddenly enjoying himself again. Here he goes. No look pass. Chanchar. And stepped out of bounds. Well, it's almost like a victory for Slovenia that possession because they took all the time off the clock. All but four seconds. Never say never. Not looking good for Lithuania. But if they can knock down a three. Rukovitis goes in and draws the foul on Doncic. So the clock stops. Oh, uh, you can see that you can see Luka Doncic you can, as he goes up for this block. There probably aren't going to be many people in Lithuania naming their kids Luka in the near future. I don't think it would be very popular for sure. <laughs> like the way these fans are getting on him. And he clearly got him with the body right there. Luca feels he got the ball. He, fit, he clearly got him with the body. Oh, you have to this. So you make this one. You try to get a quick steal or a foul, and you never know. It's too early to celebrate for Slovenia. Jokovitis gets both. So they will advance the basketball, you think? I think Slovenia called the timeout. Oh, yeah, they did. Would you would you advance the ball? I don't, I don't know that I would because then it would it would leave you with 14 seconds on the uh, shot yeah, I guess you would, yeah. We'll see what they choose to do. The impressive thing about Slovenia is you'd argue it hasn't been their best performance. Sorry, what were you saying? The impressive thing about the, yeah, about Slovenia? You you could argue this hasn't been their best performance today. Yeah. And they're beating a very good team. Yeah. So I think the tournament starts off in a great way if you're if you're Slovenia. You say, hey, you know, we come out with a win. Uh, we didn't play our best, but you know, we can still, you know, reach reach our potential and, and peak at the right time. And if you're Lithuania, it's a tough loss, but you can respect it because you know the team that you lost to is a really good team. Inbound of the ball to Doncic. And he's able to get rid of it. And they're avoiding the foul. And look at that. Dragic goes in for the layup. And that has probably done it. Here's Jokovitis. And Bukavicius. You never know, goal differential could come into play late. And that is it. So a very impressive 
famous win for Slovenia. They lost their grip on the game. They trailed, but they held firm when they had to. Slovenia win at 92-85 over Lithuania. Well, look at that. Tough, tough loss. And how do you respond when there's adversity? And I think what we saw something encouraging tonight from Slovenia. I don't think I don't think Lithuania can quite believe they lost this game, but well, for me, Lithuania has a lot to be proud of with this effort. You know. These tournaments are not just one game. It's it's the whole five games here that will earn them the trip to the next round. And they lost to a, one of the favorites, one of the tournament favorites, so they have to take that as a positive. I think they had to do a better job of just generally taking care of the basketball. Too many turnovers led to easy points for Slovenia in the game. Uh, but again, they did a very good job defensively with Doncic. They made him work. Uh, it wasn't easy for Slovenia out there today. And I think, you know, Lithuania should be given a lot of credit for that. When you, know, when you think about Luka Doncic, today it wasn't necessarily pretty all the time, but he still made huge plays at key moments of the game, didn't he? He's got so much versatility. He can do so many things. You know, he can score. He can set up his teammates. He can post up. He can play pick and roll. And that's the thing. He's just got to find out what, you know, what the team needs and what's important for the team at the time. Well, it was a, a terrific performance overall. Dragic probably, I mean, he had to play at a high level tonight. You needed Giga Demets coming out, giving his all. You needed everybody. It was everybody pulling the same direction. Toby was outstanding. Getting into spots where he could score those baskets. Preplich, of course, making that pass. Such they, a high-level game, wasn't team it? Team effort, team effort. You know, they got so many guys that can contribute and make plays and help the team. Great win, great win to start the tournament. And really, if you're Lithuania, you have to wonder, what do we have to do to beat this team? Because they, it seemed like they were doing just enough to get into position to win the game. I just don't think the guard play in general uh, is on the level. If they had just one more impact guard, I think the game would come a little bit more easier for Lithuania. Here's Doncic on one of his drives, and again, that key play, the wraparound pass, draws the defense to him, gets the double team. Dragic had that flurry uh, that was so crucial for Slovenia when he came in, and Doncic was kind of out of gas. That's just what makes the, the combination so dynamic. How do they grow from this Lithuania? It is a body blow with so many fans here supporting them. This is right at the end of the game. And just uh, a tough way to lose, but you knew that one of these teams was gonna feel it, and there was Doncic going to celebrate with Mark Cuban after the game. You could see Mark Cuban struggle getting a good seat tonight, along with Jason Kidd and Michael Finley getting his hugs as well. So, he didn't hug us, did he? <laughs> but just a sensational, sensational uh, physical basketball game. Um, we got a lot more of this coming as well, don't we? for the rest of this tournament. Game two for us here really took it to the next level. This was an outstanding game to watch. Two really good teams. Um, I think there's great basketball ahead of us tonight and the rest of the week. Well, there you go. Bosnia Herzegovina won the first game of the day here in Cologne over Hungary. Slovenia have just beaten Lithuania. And now, goodness me, another great one. France taking on Germany.
Well, Doncic came with high expectations, but Lithuania and their fans determined to spoil his day. They were close, but in the fourth quarter, Luka Doncic and Slovenia did what they had to do. They win their opening game at the BB Eurobasket. Thanks for the next fans.